over the weekend, we had the White House Correspondents' Dinner, and one of the big headlines that were, well, that was featured was Michelle Wolf of The Daily Show on, on Comedy Central. Now, what, he, what she said in, in this is just brilliant. She attacks Sarah Huckabee Sanders, mainly the, uh, the, smoky, uh, the smoky eye that she has. Kellyanne Conway, the old whole alt facts. You also have uh, Chris Christie. Probably, I'm not. I don't think she did any fat jokes, so you know, spare her for that one. And she also attacks who else? Donald Trump. So everyone got outraged. Everyone got outraged at Michelle Wolf. Why are they outraged? So here's what goes on. The White House, the White House Correspondents' Dinner, had Michelle Wolf, a liberal comedian, after all, Comedy Central, Daily Show, Trevor Noah, and <laughs> she basically, she pretty much got every every conservative pissed off. And you call liberals snowflakes? Come on. And <laughs> I mean. She comments on whole on Sarah Sanders with the whole Aunt Lydia from the Handmaid's Tale. Oh, I probably calling her Uncle Tom something. Look, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post the video right here for you guys to see. Uh, C-SPAN cover this one. So everyone got upset, including Mike Huckabee, former Kentucky governor and former presidential candidate back in 2016 defending his daughter. I can understand. This I can understand. I know that you're trying to protect your girl who probably didn't, probably in your opinion, didn't deserve to get uh, all this. After all, one of uh, Wolf's uh, comments was, I actually really like Sarah. I think she is very resourceful. She burns facts, and then she uses the the, the ash to create a perfect smoky eye. Uh, maybe, it's, maybe she's bored with it. Maybe it's lies. Probably lies. I'm never really sure who to call Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Is it Sarah Sanders? Is it Sarah Huckabee Sanders? Is it Cousin Huckabee? Is it Auntie Huckabee Sanders? Uh, what's Jungle Tom but for women to disappoint other white women? She is just beautiful. See, this is actually awesome. Because one, I'm seeing these guys get the just get the comeuppance again. Throughout the whole, throughout the entire presidency, we've seen Kellyanne Conway spin lies. She's the alternate facts queen of that. And you have Donald Trump. Who during that time was over in uh, Washington Heights, Michigan, where everyone was shouting, No bell, no bell, no bell, no bell, no bell. For what? No bell, the, the Nobel Peace Prize, for having North Korea and South Korea have a discussion about a peace treaty between Kim Jong, Kim Jong un and Sun Min Ki. I, I probably got that last name wrong, but, but you know, I apologize in advance. But what happens is that these two are now in talks about, you know, possibly ending this little scuffle that they've had for over 60 years. Ones that have been escalated by their fathers and their fathers beforehand and their fathers beforehand. And while he's over in Michigan, he doesn't even talk about the Flint water crisis. He doesn't talk about the fact that there's still lead in the water. There's still lead in Michigan being in, being tapped into uh, houses. Sometimes the low income, sometimes the mid income. But they're still getting lead. And they're not going to do anything about it. Scott Pruitt, on the other hand, he's facing multiple uh, allegations, multiple, uh, multiple lawsuits. 
As does everyone else in the Trump administration. <laughs> I apologize, that was just me going local. I have been on for a while, so bear with me. I understand that I might have been away for a while. <laughs> but I'll tell you this much. Donald Trump does not deserve the Nobel Peace Prize. That goes to North and South Korea themselves. Now, I have to say this about, uh, I'm, I'm going back, back to the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Michelle Wolf did alienate some of the right, white wing, some of the people who, who really pretty much ruined America as it is, especially with their uh, tax reform signed by Speaker Paul Ryan. What I mean by that is that no one's getting any money. No one's getting any money. That's basically what's going on here. We may be working, but we're not getting any extra. That's all going to the top 1%. And Michelle Wolf called them out for it. And that was just beautiful for her to do so. It's awesome. I'm trying to think of words not to outburst everything going on here. But it was just awesome to see her call everyone out for their inactions. And besides, it was supposed to be a roast. So, if you can't take the fire, you might as well get out of the kitchen. Oh, that's right. You signed contracts, multi-million dollars, just to stay in that household to get ridiculed by a Nah, I'm just kidding. Here's what else is going on here. These people look like they've had the worst days of their lives. And for the most part, they have not. The worst days that they've suffered are in the White House doing their jobs that they don't really like to do. So it's kind of comical that way. Yeah, everything about the White House correspondence here may be maybe, you know, funny. But come on. Take a joke, people. It's supposed to be funny. If you can't take a joke, you have no soul. You have no personality. You're nothing. You're nothing. 